Why do we know so little about women's health? Only one in three clinical trial participants are women. For too long, the data has been outdated. The research based on men and women left unseen, misunderstood and misdiagnosed. And the recommended intake for protein for women has been based on sedentary older men and really poor nitrogen studies. So this episode is for every woman who's ever felt lost in her own body. We've brought together the most powerful insights from some of the leading guests to create a women's health masterclass, covering everything from hormones and stress to gut health, libido, and longevity. When we spend so much time zone twoing, then those crossover fibers are becoming more oxidative and we're losing our body's ability to produce lactate, which is a risk factor for dementia and Alzheimer's. Which is the leading cause of death in the UK. If you're having bowel symptoms like constipation, if you're having back pain, if you're having pain with sex, sometimes this can be a sign of an abnormal pelvic floor. Creatine. It's the best thing out there. I knew you'd say that. Men and women's brains are very different. Men have on the average a little bigger brain. I saw it was 11% larger, but yeah, I don't know if that's right or but wrong. But that has never translated to function at all. So many women still feel unseen, and this episode helps to bring us together to make sense of what's really going on and to give you the tools and confidence to understand your own body in a whole new way. Because if we want to live well and be well as a woman, we need better answers and a very different conversation. If you just follow your data, if you just get good data reliably, you'll be guided internally more than these bucket rules that can apply, especially when there isn't that much science on women's health specifically out there. This is the Women's Health Masterclass I wish I had in my 20s.